uh, example uh, problem 2.2. This is uh, one that uh, you should consider most of the time when you're uh, when you're putting together circuits. And uh, the question is, what's the maximum voltage that can be applied to a 10 kilo ohm resistor that's rated at a quarter of a watt? Uh, the uh, the rating of a resistor, the power rating of a resistor, is uh, uh, is another parameter that uh, that a resistor has. Your uh, resistor is characterized by its resistance, which is in ohms, and the maximum power uh, that uh, it can take before it melts. Yeah. You notice as we run current through, uh, through resistors, they heat up uh, typically, and at some point if you, ex if you run a lot of current through a resistor for a long period of time, they, they essentially melt. Yeah. And so this uh, this maximum uh, power rating that uh, is supplied with the resistor is very important, so that you can you can compute what the uh, uh, the maximum current uh, to be applied or the maximum voltage to be applied across that resistor, and uh, uh, and uh, as a result, uh, not uh, uh, make sure that you you always stay below that in any part of the circuit uh, that it has that resistor uh, with current going through it. So let's take a look. We use the formula P equals I squared R in this case. Uh, I know the power, the maximum power uh, that that resistor can take is 0.25 watts. Uh, so uh, uh, for that, uh, I'll get the maximum current. R is a positive constant. I can solve that, uh, this equation, for the maximum current. And then plug in what all those values are. This was a 0.25 uh, watt uh, resistor. And it was 10 kilo ohms. And uh, here's here's a case where it's uh, convenient to use that relationship between watts and amperes and voltage. So just recall, if you forget that, you just look at this uh, formula: P equals I times V. And uh, uh, power in watts, current in amps, V in voltage, and so a watt watt is an ampere times a volt. I can do the same thing uh, for uh, uh, for ohms. And uh, the uh, uh, V equals IR, and so volts, uh, voltage is measured in volts, current measured in amps, and of course uh, uh, resistance in ohms, and so I can solve that uh, ohm is a volt per amp. So I replace both of those. The watts up here, I replace it by amp here times a volt, and the ohm I replace by a volt uh, uh, per amp. Uh, the volts cancel. Uh, the amp comes up on top, and I get uh, ampere squared. And then when I square root everything, uh, well, when I did it, I got 0.5 times 10 to the minus 2, and then the square root of ampere squared is just amperes. So uh, this becomes uh, 5. The maximum current you should do, you should drive through this particular resistor is 5 uh, uh, milliamps, milliamperes in this case. It asks for the voltage, so again, I can use V equals IR, but now if I know the maximum current, then I can calculate the maximum voltage or potential difference I should apply across that resistor. And we just calculated I max was, uh, was 5 milliamps. The resistor is 10 kilo ohms. And if you multiply that out, I get uh, 50. Uh, the milli and the kilo will cancel. Uh, ampere times an ohm. An ohm, remember, is a volt per ampere, so the amperes cancel, and we get the maximum voltage that I should ever put across that resistor is, uh, is 50 volts. If I apply more than 50 volts, uh, there's a high uh, probability that eventually that resistor will fail. Yeah. Uh, or in, indeed, if you really, really exceeded, it can literally melt or catch on fire. 